Welcome, this is the Algebra and Intercourse Practice Test uh, number 3, question number 53. The question says, simplify 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27th uh, to the second power. I'm going to treat this, uh, basically I'm going to separate out the idea that I have two operations to perform. I've got to raise this to the second power and this. Now order of operations says, I do parentheses and exponents and then multiply, divide, they're on the same level. So divide thinks it's less than multiplication, but it's not. Um, and then add, subtract on the bottom. Now in my head, whatever I do to the, nor the normal constant terms, the exponents are somehow better, so I can only reach them with one less. It's like it's not good enough to be affected by it, it's the second wave that affects it. So if I'm raising 1.67 to uh, the second power, the best I could hope for with my negative 27th exponent would be to multiply the two numbers together. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do the 10 uh, times 10 part. Negative 27 times 2 gives me times 10 to the negative 54th. Now, in scientific notation, which is what this is, that's the most powerful part. The uh, 10 to the part, quote unquote, tells the magnitude, pop pop, of the actual um, question itself. So uh, that's much more important than the number in front because we're talking, m these are major shifts in the amounts. The difference between negative 25 and negative 54, just type them both in or write them down one day. So put a dot, make uh, 24 zeros and put a 1, and then do the same thing except make 53 zeros and a 1. It's a big difference. So it's got to be either A or B. So these two are out. Then all I need to do is raise 1.67 to the second power. And to do that, I'm going to use a, a calculator to do it. I could also just do 1.67 times 1.67 if I so desired. So if you don't have a calculator handy, go ahead and just work that out in, you know, in way to sit there. But I don't really want to sit there and do long div or large multiplication in front of you. That would be really lame. Like, this isn't lame enough. You've suffered enough, is the long and the short of it. So I'm going to raise this to the second power. I get 2.789. So that answer goes in front of my times 10 to the negative 54. So my answer to number 53 is A. Now, could you have done it all in the calculator? Absolutely. But I did want to show it because I know some people don't really have one or they don't have good ones because of a variety of reasons, and, you know, it's not your fault. So 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27, and then I can raise that to the second power. Hit Enter, and it gives me 2.7889E negative 54. So that means 10 to the negative 54. So I'd get A there as well. Can you make the calculator work in scientific notation all the time? Yes. Most of the graphing style calculators have a mode button. You're welcome to click it over into scientific notation, and then everything is in scientific notation. I don't suggest doing it for long. It's really annoying in most cases, but you could do that if you wanted to. It's an option. There's lots of different ways to get the answer to this one. But remember, if you're not going to do it all, just type in hit enter style. Separate them out. Uh, raise the constant term by the exponent, and then multiply the exponent on the times 10 part uh, by the uh, exponent on the outside. So that's it.